Sitting inside uh, Axl Rose's apartment, one sees many things. One sees the successful side of it, decorated in platinum gold discs awards, and then one also sees the other side, the real side, the frustration. Uh, there are several shattered platinum discs. There's a shattered mirror wall. And there is a man trying to live his life. The single, Patience, is doing quite well. It's climbing the charts. The video is doing successful on MTV. Is he another Marlboro? <laughs> uh, Axel, how do you feel about the song Patience? And more personally, are you a patient person, or is your patience somewhat running thin? Okay, the, the song... When I sang that song, it was the first time I'd ever sang it. Izzy basically wrote most of the words, except for the ending part. Um, and then Slash and Duff got in on um, rearranging and rewriting parts, the music parts of it, the guitar parts. Um, but even then, our one reason the song was written was about needing patience and having a lack of it. And, you know, Duff's written his version of Patience, you know, it's kind of a comedy version, which may be out sometime. Um, Izzy has a new song that says, uh, let's see, where does that go? Um, Double talking jive, get the money, motherfucker, because I got no more patience. <laughs> um, you know, I can't stand to watch the video of it or anything. I'm proud of the video. It's just, when I hear it, it just makes me think about how I don't have any patience now. Same way for basically everybody in the band. It's like it depresses us because we go, man, we thought we were getting closer to finding some peace of mind and we're farther from it than we've ever been. Or at least that's the way it seems. When you say that you had thought you'd be closer to getting some sort of patience or peace of mind, what in reality is your life somewhat like in, in a few seconds? Um, it's strange. I mean, it's like to everybody else, we're viewed as what they see, what Guns N' Roses means to them. And that's how we're treated to these people. Um, at the same time, we've all been pretty much private in our lives, except when we go out you know, and get crazy, which isn't every day. Um, now it's few and far between, because you don't have the mental ability or whatever, or the patience to go out and deal with lots of people you don't know and you got to be so careful with what you say you can't say look get the fuck away from me to people who are just you're, they're fans of yours they like what you do and it's like they don't understand that you've had a bad day or something like that you know it's, it's I, I can't really find any easy answers right now okay well looking around the apartment I see what once was a beautifully mirrored wall that is now destroyed what brings out the violent side of Axl Rose? Frustration and not being able to handle a situation that you feel you should be able to take control of, um, which can be anything with dealing with our success in any way, dealing with you know money, interviews, fans, record companies, um, radio stations, all of that, and not really knowing how to do it. I mean, a lot of times things happen that piss you off and you like to smash somebody, but, that, but that's going to get you. That's going to get you a lawsuit or something like that. So, you know, it's, it's just for pent up frustration, not knowing what to do and releasing it, you know. And it's like, it's not like, okay, yeah, now I've got money, so I just break things the whole time. Da, da. I've always broke things. This is true. Um, it's gotten to the point where... I feel a lot like... It's the character in the Godfather, Sonny, who gets pissed off and he goes and does something, you know, and then eventually, you know, he has that used against him and he goes out and get, and it's a setup and he gets shot, you know, and that fear also, you know, breeds frustration of like, going, okay, I'm mad, I want to do something, I want to take action, I want to get even with this person that just screwed me over, and you don't, and you know you can't. Um, because you, you know that there's going to be consequences that you're going to have to face up to out of whatever you do, you, and, you're not, and you can't pinpoint all of them, you know, to make sure you can get away with whatever act 
whatever action you decide to take. So instead, I'll just break something of my own, you know, and that depresses me too, but it's better than sitting in jail, I guess. This is true. Are you a patient person? Does it take a lot to piss you off? To a lot of people, no. To me, yeah. Because they may say something in a conversation that might set me off, but it might be something that, you know, 200 people over the last three years, and finally, you know, have been saying or doing, and what the act that they do is the one that sets me off. Lately, I've been running into people who decide in, in a crowd of people that they're going to, you know, get out verbally whatever they want to say to me, you know, and this and that, and try and, and, and shoot us down, you know, and it's like, and, you know, my, my words to these people are like, don't, don't you be, don't, don't let me make you an example of a new way, in other words, it, that like, you know, don't be the stupid person who's going to get in the way and let me make an example of you that I'm not going to take any shit anymore and I'm tired of it. Okay. Uh, do you have any more feelings on the song, Patience? I mean, you know, I've, I've read in interviews, you know, where they've titled the articles, Patience is a Virtue, you know, talking about our video and stuff like that. And that's the truth. It's a virtue. It's something that we try and strive for and try to gain more of. And the more we think we have of it, the less we actually do. It's kind of like time. Um, but it's also saying that we know that a lot of situations just need more patience to make them work. You know, not just from us, from any anybody involved in a situation. It takes patience on all parts to get to reach an understanding, and that's what we're you know make something work, and that's what we're trying to achieve at different times. And I uh, think you know the world could use a bit more patience. The band's ready to start pre-production for the follow-up to the EP GNR Lies. Any comments? Um, we're all very excited about it. I just. You know, hope that we can be left alone enough that we can, and we sit around and don't get bored. Boredom is a, is a major killer of patience and everything else. Um, but we've got a lot of ideas and a lot of songs and a lot of parts of songs, and if we sit around and can keep the creative fire going, we're just going to record as many things as we possibly can this time around. That could be anything from ten songs to, you know, 30 songs. Goodbye, Axe. See ya.